Hello! In today's video I want to show you my hot supplies. Let it shine. Everything about shiny look. You wanna join me? Let's see. Let's jump right in. Hello all! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susanna. I am a close to my heart maker and the owner of Sugar Scrap Scrap Boom Profile. Thank you for stopping by. First of all, have you ever seen my 12 weeks until Christmas? Please make sure to check it out and consider subscribing to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up to support my channel. I, I really appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Let's dive in into our video, right? Today's video, I want to share with you some supplies that I love to use that give to my projects a shiny look. I love glitter. I love the sparking look. So these supplies help me to give these to my projects. Okay. So first I want to talk about the, the glitter gel. It comes in this little jar, it's new, it's a kind of a gel paste, very soft, more liquidy compared to a, a paste. The texture of this is more liquidy compared to a model paste, it's the, it is a little bit more thicker compared to a glitter glue. I use this little gel in this project using a stencil which I place over my project over on my paper and then I use a spatula took off from the jar and pass over here and let it dry so look how pretty it is you can see the shiny look over here i love it this gives in an extra something into your work and i think it is a nice investment this kind of supply the other one i want to share with you is the stickles consistency of the stickles is like a little glue very handy easy to use uh, but you need just Apply a little bit over your work and let it dry. I have some examples on here I want to share with you to show how I apply some stickles on my past works. This one I want to do close up. You can see a shiny look over here. I use these two. I use a golden glitter glue. And this is a uh, kind of multicolor, kind of bluish. So I put this one over here and then the gold shine. I put some over these dots to cover some dots over here, this one. So it, it, when it dries, you can feel the texture. It's so pretty, the final look. This stickles comes in many colors that you can choose from. I love this material because it's very handy, easy to use and give you a shiny look to your project. This one I got at Michael's, this is a regular brand. This is still fine, I like to use sometimes. So this is the stickles, kind of glue, glitter, texture. Uh, this one, it calls Chalk Writer. This is a good for like some surface that we want to create uh, another color or put another color or maybe to give a old look, vintage look. This one is a kind of a dark gold, 
look i brought here uh, wood a little piece of wood to show how to use it you just color your piece like this and then you can just smooth it out with your finger and so you get a also shiny look because it's a metallic look uh, chalk onto your little piece of wood that's cute see finally my shimmer brush here I have two colors one is flamingo another one clear I love these shimmer brushes because are easy to use very handy and you can apply any work but you need to keep in mind that this is water-based uh, pen so is good when you want to apply over your stamp or some image that you are just a stamp you need to let it dry a little bit before you apply the shimmer brush so for example here i have my stamp i pass a sentiment peace and love you want to give a shiny look so you just need to shake a little bit your pen to come off a little bit of the paint this is the the brush you can see a little bit of shine on the camera and pass over your image like this very gentle don't put too much uh, pressure over these and try to be as precise as you can because this is also water-based ink, ink so you can smear your work if you make like a without any care This shimmer brush is very handy, easy to use. Any beginners can have this tool. See if you can see the, the shiny look. I'm not sure if you can see but my leaves are very shiny now the flamingo color is a pink color a little bit darker compared to a, a light pink it's good to use on your stamp to color your flower while you're coloring your flower, you give your shiny look too. I love this shimmer, it's so cute. If you have a pink paper, you can erase the color of the, the pink and add some shine look. This is a must-have tool. All of them I love so much. I think the shimmer 
fan brush is very easy to use. You can use in multiple projects and just need to let it dry a little bit too, as well as these those glues. Uh, that's it. I love it though because it's very uh, the look of this glitter look here is it more fine compared to this one. It's a nice look to have. This little glitter that shine over your paper. It's cute. It's so cute. I love. Very delicate, kind of very delicate look compared to this one. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, I will link in the description of the video all the supplies I show you here. And then you can see and buy them if you want. Thank you again for watching my video, supporting my channel. I'm very glad that you are here seeing these all beautiful things that I can share with you. All right, see you soon. Bye bye.